Halloween's approaching really fast, and can we pull a ghost before it gets here? Oh, well, holy wow, everybody. We have five more boxes of Light of Destruction and an insane mail day, so be, <laughs> be sure you stay till the end so you can see what we got for mail. But we got five boxes, 20 packs, and uh, we're going to see if we can pull a ghost rare today, or at least another ultimate rare. Looks like I've, I've misplaced one of my knives, the one that I usually have. So today, we'll be using this beautifully forged Manto Wakasashi. Got it from a wonderful smith at the Renaissance Festival. Beautiful such. A wonderful clean cut. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just get all of these packs out. Probably even gonna cut this part out. But that beautiful just razor cut. Isn't that just beautiful? Let the hunt for the ghost rare begin. I mean, well, the hunt for the ghost rare is always on with any of these ghost rare sets. But I would like that honest. It's a very pretty card. And we're going to start with Miracle Flipper. And we're going to start off uh, with a rare Arcana Force 14. And if you are new here, we are on the way to 500 subs. So be sure to like and subscribe. If you enjoy beautiful card openings, if you are a cardboard fiend, if you love getting your dopamine from Opening up gorgeous packs and getting stuff like this ultra rare kind of forest 21 the world Okay, not bad Rare and ultra so far Like I said if you love beautiful cardboard like me And you you want to watch somebody who's not going to scream in your ear Hit that subscribe button And I have some very, very exciting stuff coming up for a 250 subscriber special and a 500 subscriber special. So the sooner we get there, the sooner I get to show you guys some really cool vintage products and some very fun sealed things that I've been really, really wanting to open. But I'm just waiting for you guys to subscribe. And a Lumina Lightsworn Summoner. Yes, kitten. <laughs> Look, everybody. It's Luna. <laughs> Y'all get to see my cat. At least a little bit of her face. She's actually not a huge fan of being picked up. But I do it anyway. She gets uh, horse cuddles a lot. Nimble Musasabi. Do you like seeing ultimate rares pulled? Go check out the mini box uh, video that was, I think, two videos ago. You get to see some beautiful last pack magic. Owner's seal. Ouch, this is starting to hurt. This is the last of the Light of Destruction boxes that I have. Hopefully we get Ghost Rare this time. And a Union Attack for a Super Rare. Pretty. 
But not what we're looking for. Optimized land. Battery man industrial strength. Hmm. Unit frog. Should probably keep him separate. People seem to like the frog, frog cards. I believe it's Edison. Deformation. Dark Valkyria. Didn't know this was a card. Well, that's pretty cool. Arcana Force 3, the Empress. Oh, I haven't pulled this one yet. Magical Exemplar. Nice. Each time a spell card is activated, put two spell car uh, counters on this card. Once per turn, you can remove any number of spell counters from this card to special summon a spellcaster type monster from your hand or graveyard whose level is equal to the number of spell counters you removed. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see how that would be useful. And we started with the Volcanic Queen. And a Golden Ladybug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, the cool thing about today, even if we don't, which we are, we'll get a Ghost Rare. We'll get a Ghost Rare or we're going to get an Ultimate Rare. But regardless of the outcome of these mini boxes, I have some absolutely amazing cards to show you guys that we've gotten in the mail this week. This crazy stuff, man. Hello, Froggy Force Field. And a Unifrog. seal hmm. deck lockdown interesting neither player can add cards to their hand except by drawing them and cannot special summon monsters from the deck. Neither player can add cards to their hand except by drawing them. And cannot special summon monsters from the deck. Ooh, talk about a branded killer. Hmm. That would absolutely just crap all over my branded stuff. Ryko the Light Sworn Hunter. Now, he did just get seven different printings in uh, Rarity 2, but we will definitely take this uh, Light of Destruction print, even if it's a reprint. Because I don't, I don't think I have a Ryko for the binder for the Light of Destruction stuff. And Maniacal Servant. Dude, that's some killer artwork. Creepy. And more frogs. Gladiator Lash. On the force. Battery pack. Arcana Force. And. Vanquishing Light. Now that is a beautiful super rare. 
Wow, look at that. All right, the lovers, the emperor, red servant, the moon has a very heavy arcana force pack, and another froggy force field. Mm, mm, mm. Spell gear, demise of the land, lucky chance, volcanic queen. Hey, yo, check him out. Destiny and Dragoon for another ultra rare. All right, so he takes Destiny Hero Plasma, Destiny Hero Dogma. Fusion Summon. A fusion summon of this monster can only be uh, conducted with the above fusion material monsters. Once per turn, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls and inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack. If you activate this effect, you cannot conduct your battle phase this turn. During your standby phase, if it's in your graveyard, you can remove from play. One Destiny Hero card from your graveyard. Special summon this card. Okay, so he's got some recursion. Got some, uh, got some removal. Uh, but screws you on your... Battle phase. Interesting. You know, that's a beautiful card. Last pack. There's a ghost here. Or an ultimate rare. Jedi mind trick the packs over here. Alright, Chariot, what do you got behind you? Hero Blast. Or a rare. Now, if you are still here at this point in the video, thank you. You're a G. And enjoy this beautiful cardboard that we got in the mail this week. And we're going to start with this beautiful PGL3. Mark of Heaven Secret Rare. Uh, these, A lot of these were dollar start auctions or rip till you hit. Um, but for the prices you see, really didn't pay a whole lot for these. But man, we got a Horn of Heaven. A Platinum Secret Rare, Infinite Impermanence, one of the original Plat Secrets out of the Rarity one. We also have a Platinum Secret, Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, a Platinum Secret Rare, Danger Jackalope. However subtle, it is pretty, but the new the new Platinums are just absolutely amazing. We have a Collector Rare. Prismatic Collector Rare, Pot of Extravagance. We have a Prismatic Collector Wind the Wind Channeler. God, their stamping is just beautiful. We have another Prismatic Collector Rare Summon Limit. And we'll just cut it down to piece here. We got another PCR. Dogmatic Ecclesia the Virtuous. Another PCR Borload Savage Dragon. I believe this was one of the ones that got hit on the ban list, I think. We have a Prismatic Ultimate Rare. Dimensional Barrier. More gorgeous stamping. A PUR. Reinforcement of the army. Also, man, just look at that. A PUR. Lava Golem. Yeah, somebody was opening up a whole bunch of uh, Rarity 1. And basically me and this other guy more or less kind of split the box. Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon. Ah, there she is. This one's going to my branded deck to upgrade one of my Ash Blossoms. We have a Prismatic Ultimate Rare Ash Blossom in Joyous Spring. Really wish it was the uh, 
quarter century, but hey, you never complain when you get an ash. We have a ultimate rare. Uh, Light of Tachyon Galaxy, I believe, but this is Mecha Phantom Beast Hemstrat. Man, I wish they would stamp stuff like this. That is just gorgeous. We have a QCR, Winged Kariba, and this is all going to be QCRs from here on out. We have a QCR Borolo Dragon, a QCR Older Entity Intis, Fabricate Rufol, another Borolo Dragon. A stunning relinquished anima. Parallel exceed. I think I got two of these. Yes, I did. That is its brother. A dino wrestler Pinkertops. From the tins. An Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon, also from the Tins. You guessed it, another one from the Tins. Light and Darkness Dragons, definitely one of my favorite artworks out of all of the QCRs that came out of the Tins. Of course, Light of DMG. And last but not least, we have this beautiful Heart of the Blue Eyes QCR. If I would have paid another $17 and done another rip till you hit, the next few packs would have had another Fuwilos out of this, but I wasn't being greedy and I let the other guy go in for it. And he, he got it. But you know, I wasn't trying to be greedy. The binders, the binders getting heavy y'all. The binders starting to get real heavy. Pretty soon the QCRs are going to have their own giant binder all by their lonesome. But not so lonesome. Well, if you uh, enjoyed the cards, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. If you think I'm pretty, hit that like and subscribe. Or if you think this is a beautiful knife, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.